Hi, in today's video we're going to go ahead and show you how to remove the filters on a RA34 uh, range hood. Now we're going to begin by doing so uh, by locating these handles. Now these are what we're going to use to, to actually hold on to to remove the filter. And the filter is actually held in place by a uh, spring locking mechanism that's sitting here at the top. So what you're going to want to go ahead and do is we're going to want to compress those springs. So we're going to actually grab the filters, lift upwards to compress the spring, and then we're going to lift the back. Once we lift the back and the, and the lower part of the filter is inside of the range hood, then we can actually uh, bring the uh, top down and slide the, uh, the uh, front out. So let's go ahead and do that. And now I'm going to compress the spring, lift the back, as you can see, slide down to the back. As you can see, the front is out now. Now we can really take a drop filter. Now that we have our baffle filter removed, uh, you'll notice that in this unit there's actually uh, side fillers. Now these are actually not white in color, there's just a protective film on there to protect the stainless steel. So uh, in case if you want to go ahead and, uh, and also remove the two fillers that are located on this unit to wash them, then what you can simply do is just go ahead and uh, once you press them on the side, you're going to grab it from the top and then tilt it forward, well actually to the side, so that the, uh, it's out of the, so now it's sitting out of the channel. So you can actually go ahead and then remove the filler. Okay, now that we have the uh, filters out, and uh, the next thing we're actually going to want to do is remove the, the side fillers. Now, uh, for this unit, there's actually a oil tray that sits in the back in, on the inside of the range hood, which I'll show you in the next video. So what this, uh, what this oil catch tray does, it, it, well, it catches all the oil that the actual stainless steel baffle filter collects. So the, the filters are actually sitting on the inside of this. So we're actually going to get to that by removing both side panels, just like so. You're actually going to grab the top and you're going to fold it to the inside and then slide it out. Once you do this for both sides, and depending on the uh, size of the unit that you may have, you may have up to three or even four fillers. So just take note of that. But for this, uh, but for this, uh, for this size, it's only two. Okay. Now that we have uh, both filters removed, along with the uh, side fillers, we're going to go ahead and remove the oil tray, which is sitting uh, on the inside of this pocket of the actual body of the stainless steel range hood. So you're going to start by lifting, uh, by grabbing the uh, the filter from uh, the actual tray from the top, bring up both sides. As you can see, it's right here. And in an X fashion right here, in the X fashion right here, you're actually going to, going to bring this out in a diagonal motion. Okay, now in this video, we're actually going to go ahead and reinstall the oil catch tray. Uh, and you're actually going to want to place it, uh, making sure that these rivets are facing to the top. And this opening right here is where the actual uh, oil drains into. So you want to make sure that this is facing forward and the rivets are facing to the top. As you can see, it's closed on the other side. That's also sealed. So make sure that you do face this forward. Okay? So we're going to go ahead and uh, start with either from right to left or left to right. You're going to go in, uh, in, a, uh, in a cross pattern. So one corner to the back right here. As you can see from corner to corner. Now once you get it on the inside, simply bring it to the back. It's going to drop right in place. Now the uh, oil tray is installed and we can go ahead and replace the fillers along with the baffle filters.